All right, guys, Jeff here back at Titan FPV with another uh, just quick video here. I had somebody on Facebook ask me um, how I wired up the Jumper R1 receiver on my Tiny Hawk Freestyle Custom Build. So I was just going to go over that with him and uh, hope this helps. You can pretty much wire any uh, FR Sky receiver that uses S Bus in the same way. Um, but this is how I went about it. I'm, I'm gonna switch this one over. I don't know if I'm gonna swap it out to an XM Plus or uh, possibly Crossfire. Wasn't really getting great range with the R1 receiver. Um, but yeah, so uh, pretty much you've got, if you can see, you've got the uh, ground right there. Uh, then you got your five volt. And then your S bus is the uh, is the white wire right there. I just got those running underneath. Um, or I have the receiver mounted underneath the flight controller. Uh, I had a pretty hard crash, and uh, I've got to replace these standoffs in here, um, so they broke because it's currently down. But uh, yeah, so and this there's a couple different R1 receivers. Uh, there's one that just has the uh, I believe the F port, uh, and it doesn't come with the connector, so it's going to be a little bit thinner. So that one might fit in there a little bit better for you. And these UFL connectors uh, that they use for the uh, receiver antennas, those are a little bit more robust than uh, like the XM Plus which is great, but they do kind of stick out. So you kind of have to angle the receiver the right way to get it to where it fits underneath the flight controller. But anyway, yeah, that's how I've got it wired up. All right, guys, we're gonna go into the beta flight setup now for the uh, receiver. All right, you want to select your ports tab. And I have the serial receiver set up on UART number one uh, because I'm using UART two for the Ishii Nano VTX. I've got it running on uh, IRC Tramp protocol. But that's not really important right now. Go into your configuration tab. You're going to scroll down on the left hand side. Under receiver, you want to make sure it's serial based receiver because originally you were running an, uh, an SPI receiver. You're going to check S bus for the jumper R1 or any free sky like an RSXR XM Plus uh, receiver. 